Hi, I wanted to give you a little bit of demonstration about the difference between representative fraction scale uh, statements and equivalent relation. We abbreviate those, they're, they're quite long. So, so let's say that you look at a drawing and in the title block, you see one to 100. Okay, what is that? Is that a representative fraction or is that an equivalent relation? Well, the names are sort of opposite of what they look like. <laughs> um, these are related to each other. So you might think, oh, they're an equivalent relation. And then I will tell you no, because there's no equal sign. This is unitless. It can represent inches, meters, feet, miles, kilometer, centimeters. That's why you have to put the unit in your title block when you are using a representative fraction like this. Because if you don't indicate the unit, we don't know what unit the drawing was in. So what would this be as an equivalent relation? Well, let's just say that it's inches. We're working, let's pretend in an ANSI system. So if it's one inch on the drawing, we'll call that paper, equals 100 inches in real life, Well, then we could say one inch equals 100 divided by 12 feet. That's not what we would show on a drawing. So let's do 100 divided by 12. Okay, so it's eight and a third feet. So let's erase all of this. And we would say eight feet, and what's a third of a foot, four inches. So this was RF to ER. And you can tell it's an equivalent relation because it has an equal sign. Okay. And you can tell that the 1 to 100 is a representation of a ratio of, of what the drawing is trying to show you. So it's a representative fraction. Don't let the word fraction throw you. Remember, a ratio like 1 to 100 is actually a fraction because fractions are actually ratios. All right, so let's start with an equivalent relation. So we'll say 1 inch equals 40 feet. Okay, well, we need to get that into a representative fraction format. See, when we do this, it has units. Um, so it's, it's unit full instead of unit less. And so we don't need to say what units the drawing is in, although customarily we would still say inches probably or engineering or whatever. All right, so how are we gonna get all of this into representative fraction? Well, how many inches are in 40 feet? So we've got one inch equals 40 times 12 inches. Now, of course, we don't use an equal sign and we don't use units. We use the colon. Of course, we're not going to say 40 times 12 in our scale statement. 40 times 12 equals 480. So I'm going to delete all this 
And instead, I'm going to say 480. Now, here's the interesting part. When you are making a custom scale in AutoCAD, you can make it look like whatever you want in the list, but this is how you have to enter your scale in the paper versus actual object part of that creating a custom scale in that list. So I hope this helped you see the difference between representative fractions and equivalent relations and how to convert back and forth between them. Notice if we said that, you know, one to 100, and then we, you can't just convert it to be one inch equals 100 feet. That, that totally wouldn't work. That's kind of the important thing is that you understand the difference between them. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message and I will happily help you. Thanks very much.